my ASW28. And the last time you saw this thing, it was falling out of the sky due to what I can only assume is an accelerated stall. Um, ailerons, oh, oh geez, oh, what's happening? <gasps> I want to do is to fix this problem. Now this plane has the problem where it will occasionally fall out of the sky due to a stall on one of the wingtips because they are so long and they have such a short cord. Some of my planes in the past, I've made a parachute system for them. I made a video on this a while ago uh, where I put a parachute on an FT Explorer. That did work a little bit, but I've learned of quite a few things from that. And after making a few more parachutes for planes I didn't have, I have uh, started making a parachute for this plane right here. So what I've done so far is I've made this parachute is made out of a couple trash bags and I've implemented some of the things I've learned from my experience building parachutes. You could pack down really small which is good for smaller planes but the thing is the ASW-28 is a massive plane. It's very heavy and it goes very fast so I'm going to need a bigger parachute. Let's see what this one can do. So I've designed this parachute to open very quickly due to the large reefing hole at the back but it still does have some problems. One of the biggest being, it's not very slow. This parachute, I used three of these, what I can only assume are standard size trash bags, but it's still a little bit too small for this plane. So what I wanna do is make a bigger one, and I'm gonna make it out of six of these, of these trash bags. I have my six trash bags cut. I'm gonna lay them out on the floor and tell you how I fuse them together. everything. These are the six panels, or the six pieces of the parachute, and I'm going to use a special technique I developed to fuse them together, which is much better than using tape. For my first few parachutes, I used tape to attach the two pieces of garbage bag together, but recently I've come up with a new method using an iron. I use this monocoat iron and a piece of wax paper to melt the pieces of plastic together more secure than using anything like tape or glue or anything like that. And it's a lot lighter because you're not adding any material. I've now fused together all of the panels. This little mark on my nose is from the respirator I was wearing. Remember kids, safety first. So they're now all fused together. It's, it's pretty strong. Um, sometimes it does break, but it's super easy to repair. You just need to uh, melt it together a little bit. So now I'm gonna cut it out. I'm gonna attach the strings. So it's the next day, but unfortunately it's raining, so I'll only be able to design some things today. The first of which being the new attachment method. It's a lot more sturdy than the last one. I've also started making a shock cord, so it should dampen the jolt from the parachute. Now this little piece that hooks into the plane is probably not the most secure, so I added a, an extra attachment point here, which should be a lot more stable. Let's see how this thing works. So when I flick this switch on my controller, this servo here will pull these in, which will release the parachute, which is tied down by a rubber band. In the past, I've had the parachute inside of a box, and that box had a hatch and a spring and all that extra stuff. But all of that definitely reduced the deployment time and the like. It made it more aerodynamic, but it was a lot harder to pack, and it didn't it didn't deploy as easily. 
but uh, I should be able to show you sort of how the mechanism itself works. So this is my canopy. It has these two little prongs that will stick through these holes on the side of the fuselage. And that holds the canopy on, and that's what holds the rubber band that holds the parachute on. If I flick in this switch, it will pull the rods in, which will release it. So now I've got all the strings on and the parachute folded. So this will just sort of rest right on top of there like that. That string will go by, and these strings should just stay roughly right around there under the parachute. As you can see, with that deployment, it deployed instantly. Like, right after I flicked the switch, it was already off the canopy and it was completely unfolded. So, it's a really quick deployment, much quicker than the one with the previous parachutes designs. So, those last clips you saw were with the smaller parachute, the original one that I used to use, but that one's a bit too small. So, this larger one that I made, which is 70 inch in diameter and has a shock cord which should help with stability. I'm gonna pack this up and make sure that everything fits. So now I've got the larger parachute hooked up. The prop on, it should be able to clear the parachute no problem, even when it's folded up. But this thing usually like, right when it spins up, it's already, you know, it's already out, so that shouldn't be a problem. Got the shock cord running right beside it here. This one's just a little thing to hold the rubber band so I don't lose it. So that's probably not gonna be on the final design. There you go, now let's see this thing deploy, real this time. And this will, So we all know what would happen if this cord was just rigid. It would just fall and it would immediately just catch it and that would put stress on the cord, the parachute, the attachment here, and it would put a lot of stress on the wings too, because they would be going down and then stopping. So that, it, it would cause a lot of stress on all of the components. So uh, I took this bungee cord and made a shock cord out of it. So I'm gonna drop this from like here and just see how it, how it reacts. Full battery weight. Although those tests were done at a lower speed than this plane would normally be flying at, I think I can conclude that at higher speeds, the wind will move the parachute faster and it should open even quicker. So unfortunately, I won't be able to do any more testing with this, um, at least in flight, because I do not have wings for this plane. I ordered some from Hobby King, but they're still on back ordered and I don't know what's going on with that. So. It might be a while before I'm able to test this on the plane, but I'll, I'm posting this video for now just to show you what's, what's sort of going on, what I'm working on.